What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome back to the channel. And today I have some exciting news for all the Linux enthusiasts out there. Zorn OS, known for its user-friendly interface and versatility, has just released its latest version, Zorn OS 16.3. And in this video, I wanted to dive into the new features and improvements this release brings to the table. So if you're curious about how Zorn OS is evolving, stick around to learn more. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm at Zorn OS's website, which is zorn.com forward slash OS. And of course, I'll always have the link down in the description of the video, but I want to cover the article that covers the full release. And this article was put out on the 27th of July, 2023. And this basically covers everything that's included with this latest release. And so if we scroll down a little bit right here on the first section, the biggest buzz is around the new Zorn OS upgrader. And essentially it's a game changer allowing you to seamlessly upgrade between different releases and additions like from Zorn OS 16 core to pro. And this is all done while keeping your files and settings intact. As you can see, this kind of goes through an image that shows you the upgrader in action. You can check it out by clicking on the link down in the description of the video. And then also right here, this has a picture of it. You can find it under the start menu, upgrade Zorn OS, and that'll open up the upgrader for you. And we'll take a look at it when I, when I get it installed. Now, the other new feature that's super dope is the improvements to Zorn Connect. And they added some exciting new features for Android users. And if we go down here to the image, I just kind of want to show you guys this. But you can run commands on your computer directly from your Android device. You can control like Spotify playlists and even enjoy better network management right from the device. Now, if we go down a little further, Another great upgrade is the LibreOffice Office Suite that's included with the operating system now comes with version 7.5, which has that enhanced capabilities with Microsoft Office documents and introducing major improvements to the dark mode. And it's all designed to provide a more productive environment. And if we go down a little further, Speaking of productivity, Zorn OS 16.13 comes with updated pre-installed apps, ensuring a feature rich experience right out the box and with built-in support for flat packs, app images, and snap packages. You can easily keep your favorite apps up to date. And now as far as security, that's one of the things that they've upgraded as well. It's powered by the same Linux kernel as Ubuntu 22.04. And this release boosts improved capabilities with hardware components, including the latest NVIDIA graphics cores. And as you see right here, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070, the 4060 Ti, and the 4060 uh, series graphics cords right out of the box. And lastly, I just wanted to cover this, but the Zorn OS 16 version series will continue to get support with software updates and security patches until April 2025. So you got a couple of years, you know, of security patches for this version. Now let's go back to the main page. I want to show you guys how to get it, but all you have to do is hit download Zorn OS. They do have a pro version or a pro edition. This has a little bit more features in it. It says a premium desktop layout, Mac OS, Windows 11 and classic and Ubuntu, you know, as well as professional grade creative suite apps, uh, advanced productivity software includes pro light edition for old PCs. So that's one thing I like about Zorn OS. They do look out for older hardware, you know what I'm saying? And which a lot of other Linux distros do as well. But this one, I think it's super cool because it's very user friendly. And so you could download that 
pro version is 39 bucks but i wanted to show you guys the core which is for basic use of modern computers is free it's 100 free all you have to do is hit the download button that'll download it and then they also have the zorn os 16.3 lights and this is for older systems with low specs you know all that good stuff it says up to 15 years so you can download this and get your one of your old laptops up and going with a modern looking linux distro and like i said i wanted to show you guys the core so i already have it downloaded and i have a virtual machine built for this so i wanted to walk you guys through the install after this but all you gotta do is hit download it will ask for your email address so that you can receive like updates and all that stuff uh, but you can skip that i'm just want to show you guys that you can skip this and you can go straight to the download and it will download the ISO for you. But like I said, I'm going to cancel it. I already have it downloaded. I already have the virtual machine set up. So let's hop over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through the full install of Zorin OS. All right, so I'm booted up in the live ISO. And as you can see, there's a script right on the desktop that will start the installer. And what I did was try Zorin. Uh, it'll pop up with a menu basically asking you if you want to try or go right into the installer and what i did was click try that way to get us to a desktop environment you guys can see everything about the desktop environment and then we can run through the installer from here and i also wanted to correct the resolution of the desktop so you guys can see it a little bit better on my system while i'm recording and so the first thing that will pop up is selecting your language which is english and with this installer, you'll see that it's similar to Ubuntu. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. So keyboard layout, and I'll kind of run through it so you guys don't have to, you know, sit through this. But uh, there's some options here. You can update the system. I'm gonna hit continue. Uh, they do have a census, so that's they so they can send information. You, your system will send the information back to Zorn, so they can, you know, see what type of hardware the operating system is running on, and that way they can better improve the operating system for future devices and then here's the partitioner all you have to do is click here erase this and install zorin os or you can create your own partitions if you want to you can go through and do the manual install just like in ubuntu so let's hit install now um, and it should only access for our location and then also setting up a user account so here we go it already recognized that i'm on the west coast so los angeles hit continue and then we set up our user account so let's go on and create a josh account and then i'll name this thing zorn uh, os and then let's go on and type in a super strong password quote unquote <laughs> super strong password again and then also require that password for login i always do that and then one cool thing about it and this is something with ubuntu as well you can connect to active directory so super cool using kerberos so let's hit continue there it'll go through install the operating system i won't bore you guys with this port i'll come back when the system is up and fully installed but that is the full installation process very simple even for new users. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, as you can see, the installation is complete. And so all you gotta do is you can continue testing or you can restore it. I'm gonna restore it and I'll be back with the system fully up just to show you guys that the system is up running. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'll quickly walk through the welcome screen and basically takes you through a tour and it shows you everything we just talked about and more. So this is the menu you know to launch apps so that's basically just showing you how to use it let's hit next you can change up the zorn desktop appearance so you can launch that i'll just go down and open it up so you guys can kind of see but as you can see you got layouts themes you know you could obviously use that dark theme which i use i like you know what i'm saying you could change the accent colors uh the interface options desktop you know fonts all that good stuff so let's go ahead and close that out but let's hit next uh speed may be limited in a virtual machine so it automatically pulled up that i'm using a virtual machine to run zorn os so you may not see this on your on your hardware so you probably won't see this option but let's hit next you can connect all your online accounts next uh, link to your phone you know using the zorn connect app so super dope hit next uh and then the software center and i'll just quickly show you guys the software center uh here we go so it pops up just like that and this system is pretty much set up to where you don't have to really do anything other than you know use the system 
and it'll up stay up to date you know it'll download all the updates you can install whatever software you need and like i said it has all the software any software you can think of so let's go down and close that and then we can hit next and bas basically that's it we hope that you enjoy zorn os so it's super dope you can go to the help page they do have a help page where you can get all the information you need about the operating system so let's go down and close that and let's quickly check out the kernel version right fast let's open up the terminal boom and let's run a uname uh and we need to type it right but uname uh, dash a and press enter and as you can see it comes with the 5.15 kernel so zorin os good to go and there you have it folks zorin os 16.3 is out and packed with features that take your computing experience to new heights from the seamless Zorn OS upgrader to enhance app capabilities and improve security, this release truly raises the bar. Now, if you're as excited about this release as me, don't hesitate to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tech updates and reviews. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course, keep it techy.